happening now. Tents are going up, the stages are being set. Uh, runners are already arriving in uh, Uganda, especially the foreigners have already arrived. They arrived by Monday, other Sunday, uh, which is a fantastic thing, especially those from outside the countries. We have about 13 countries which are going to be represented in the Renzori Task Alert uh, run uh, this year. And we are expecting to go up to 2,500 runners uh, on, uh, on, uh, on, um, on 2nd of September. Last year we had 800 runners, being our natural run. Uh, and this run is not the usual run where you're just thinking about numbers. As you all know, we have the equator, we have the snow, we have the big five. All of them are in the CSA. And we have improved on our accommodation. We are doing a promotion, and this is the second promotion we are doing under the marathon with a number of components. We have uh, the community diversity run, we have the greening of, uh, of Kasese and the uh, Renzori in general, and then of course the marathon. It's clear that the numbers of the visitors that are coming this time around are much more than those of last year. And there's too much vibe, clearly. There are many people in town, everybody's busy, everybody is uh, something they call Kwetega, seeing what you can sell to the, get to the visitors that are coming up. And people are happy. Been fairly much better than last year in terms of attendance. We have the entire lodge booked by majority of the people that are going to be participating in the run. And we are very excited as, of course, lodge owners. This gives us exposure about the region, Elizabeth National Park and the Renzori region as a whole. I, it's an opportunity for us to show off what we already know as lodge owners that have of course built properties here and we hope to engage as many Ugandans as possible. Since this is a marathon and it, of course it's attracting runners, people that are passionate about running, people that are passionate about the sport. So I believe that yes it is promoting local tourism and we know that today marathons are not just about running per se, it's more about building traction and bringing communities together to work towards the common good which is to show off this region.